So that is uh, very important because until now we have thought that uh, the most important things in the multiple sclerosis that was only the relapses and the acute inflammation. So that because we thought about this, we were treating always the relapses and we, were, we have some treatments to avoid the relapses. But we have realized that in between the relapses, the patients, they have activity and they have, at that time point, they have a worsening. So this, uh, this MS activity in between the relapses, that is the chronic inflammation and that is the uh, this, what we say is smoldering disease. So that means that um, we have two kinds of inflammation in the multiple sclerosis. The acute inflammation, the produced epilapsis, and the chronic inflammation. And the chronic inflammation is responsible for the disability of the patients. For example, for the fatigue, for example, for the cognitive alterations. So that uh, we have realized now that it's very important not only to take into consideration the acute inflammation, so that we need to take into consideration the chronic inflammation, because at the end, the chronic inflammation is, dry, is, is driven to the disability and is driven that the patients later they can, ha, they, can, they can be in a wheelchair. So now we see that the most important thing is to try to stop this chronic uh, disability. So the acute, uh, acute MS activity is impacted direct in the, in the disease, in the disability, because it's a patient that has a relapse and after the relapse they have some symptoms and after the relapse the most of them they continue with these symptoms. But on the other side, there are many patients that they have no relapses and they have this uh, slowly worsening of the symptoms, the slowly worsening of the disability, and this slowly worsening of the symptoms that is, it is due to this chronic active inflammation that is driven, for, is driven to a higher disability and that the problem is that the patients they have they start with cognitive alterations, for example, uh, slowly sp uh, processing speed, they cannot plan in a very good way, they have some memory problems, they have some concentration problems, so that all of this, this impacting is the cognitive disability, and at the same time we have a physical disability, so that the patients, every time they are walking with more difficulties, at the end they need a cane, and perhaps when they have more and more disability, they go to a wheelchair. And the problem is that until now we cannot treat this kind of disability. The clinical consequences of the small uh, inflammation is this uh, worsening disability that is permanent, that, is, uh, uh, that we cannot uh, stop. Because we know that it's uh, slowly, but it's uh, chronic, but we don't have uh, metals, we don't have uh, uh, treatments that we can stop this disability. So that when the disability is going uh, slow, it's okay, it's not very bad, because perhaps the patients they can stay a long time without problems, with the walking problems, but when this a chronic inflammation, this disability is going very fast. The patients later, they have a lot of problems with walking, with cognitive alterations and with fatigue.